Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. I'm a lead cloud native SE. I'm custom by Veeam. I work here in Singapore to support the Asia Pacific region. And this is me. You can see my picture. And on the right hand side, you can see by now I'm already 24 times multi cloud certified. If you want to connect with me, feel free to email me, connect me by LinkedIn or Twitter. So today's topic, uh, I want to show you how to build a Google Kubernetes engine plus deploy PostgreSQL database plus install custom KTN software plus configure backup policies, run the backup jobs, all can be done in six minutes, just run one command. Before I'm going to explain the details, let me, because the job, it does take like a six or five minutes. Let me start the job now. So the one command, what I need to run is deploy.sh and I click enter. Now, let me come back to the slide to show you, walk you through the details. I will give you two part of the demo. The first one is how to build the ready to use labs with just one command in about six minutes, sometimes five and a half, sometimes six a little bit. And the second part is after the demo done, you need to completely destroy the whole labs. So how we achieve that with just one command, typically it can be finished in less than 10 minutes. So first of all, before you start the job, I need to prepare the environment. So here are the prerequisites. So first of all, you need a Google Cloud account. I'm pretty sure the trial account should be okay. And secondly, if you are not using Google Cloud Shell, you need to install Cloud SDK and then initialize it before you can use. So for example, for Mac OS, for Linux version, you need to install Cloud SDK first and then run G Cloud init to initialize. And then what you need to do is clone the repository from my GitHub account to your local directory. And the next task is you need to create a Google Cloud service account. So just run the command, you change it to the directory gke-kt and run create a sa.sh to create a service account to be used by the deploy and destroy command. Last but not least, if you want to customize the cluster name, the machine type you are going to use and the region, the name and the zone and the bucket name, yeah, you just edit uh, set uh, env.sh. You might use a VI or any familiar tools uh, you want to use. Okay, here is the first task. How I can automate the task with one command to complete the task in six minutes. You just run, I already run the command uh, dot slash deploy dot sh. What the script does is the following tasks. So first of all, we will create a GKE cluster from the command line. And secondly, we will install custom K10 software. Uh, by the way, custom K10 is the number one Kubernetes backup recovery and DR or application mobility software. And then I will deploy a PostgreSQL database at the sample database to run the backup recovery. And I also create a GCS, that's a Google Cloud Storage Location Profile. 
So the backup, uh, not only we take the snapshot, I uh, will container storage. And also we allow it to move the snapshot from the container storage to Google Cloud Storage, which is more safe. And you can leverage the retention lock to avoid uh, the potential ransomware attack. And then part of the script will also create a backup policy for PostgreSQL database. And after the backup policy created, we will run our on-demand backup jobs. So all of these tasks, all part of the deploy.sh uh, shell scripts. So in about five and a half minutes, uh, all the job will be done. And then you will get the URL to access the custom web UI. And also you will be getting the token code for you to access the UI. So before I jump into uh, the command to check the status of the deploy, let me just walk you through how to destroy it. So after you use the lab environment, you might demonstrate to you know, partners or to customers. Once your job is done, you don't want to leave the cluster is running and then Google continue to charge you. So we want to destroy the whole environment. So here is another script. So when the destroy shell script, we will destroy. So first of all, we will delete the GKE Kubernetes cluster. And even after you delete the GKE Kubernetes cluster, some of the disks are still left uh, there. Uh, unless you remove all of these disks, otherwise uh, there is a cost associated with the cloud disks. And also some of the snapshots also left there, unless you, you know, manually delete them. So part of this script, we will delete all of these. And also I was using the GCS, the storage bucket for my backup jobs. So after my job is done, I can remove all of the objects from the bucket. That's about the script. So let me jump to the console to check the status now. Okay, actually the job already finished. As you can see, the total time spent here is five minutes and 42 seconds. Now you can see you go to the web UI here. You can copy the whole web UI and the paste to to a browser, and then you click enter. It will be presented with the login UI. So I go back to the cloud shell. I copy uh, copy the token code and the paste here. And then you can access the custom UI. So it will ask you your company. I work for custom, my email address, youngcart.custom.io. Click accept. And now you can see you log into the UI. And uh, what you have is you could application already discovered by custom. You got a PostgreSQL database here, and uh, you also have the backup policy. So I already have a backup policy created. So I do kick off uh, menu backup jobs. So instead of wait, wait for the job to kick off, you can technically, you can click run once to immediately run on-demand job. So after that, you can click the dashboard. You can check the backup job status. So since you got the UI access and it's very easy to use web UI. So for, for this particular episode, it's not about how to use the custom console to run the backup or run the restore jobs. So it's more about uh, how you can automate the whole configuration, how to build the cluster, how to 
create the policy, how to deploy the database applications, how to create the Google Cloud storage bucket. So all automate, automated in six minutes. So I'll leave you guys to explore a little bit more once you have the environment ready, you just log into the UI, you can check the application, you can configure your own policy, you can check the data usage, you can find out if your job's running okay from the bottom of the screen. Yeah, that's about uh, this particular demo. And uh, now if I go back to my slide deck, so if I finish my job, I want to destroy the labs. You just run uh, the command called destroy.sh. Let me run this command now. And then I will show you additional references. So if I run destroy command, so basically we will destroy the whole cluster. So we created and also remove all, all the related uh, disks uh, and all the snapshots, all the objects from the storage bucket. So let me come back to the UI, to the PowerPoint slides, just to show you a few references. So my all of my source code, uh, I moved all the source code to GitHub, so you can click the link to access. There is a readme how to use it. And uh, if you want to know more about the cast and how to run the backup recovery, you can click into the docs.custom.io. And you might also be interested to, there is a third party selected the cast as the DevOps tool for the July month. So you can click on this link so k10.youngcon.com to check the details. If all you care is about a GKE backup restore, there is a blog from our custom. You can find more details about how to configure the backups, how to run the restores. By the way, we do allow you to restore everything from all your original namespace or we allow you to granularly recover individual objects or resources from your Kubernetes cluster. Could be somebody deleted a secret, and there is no point to recover everything. I think that's about it for this particular demo. If you have any questions or any comments, any feedbacks, feel free to send me email or connect me via LinkedIn or by Twitter. So with that, uh, let me come back to check if the destroy job finished. So I guess it's probably not that fast. Yeah, it's still running. So we don't have to wait the job finish, but by the end of the scripting job in about seven or eight minutes. So it will give you the another total time to show you how much time I spend to clean up the whole environment. With that, thank you very much for your time. Oh, actually I forgot one thing. Let me just show you where are the GitHub page, you just type a gh.yongkang.cloud or you go directly to github.com slash and then you can see the gke-k10, that's the one I just created. So basically it's all about the, how to easily build a easy to use, ready to use custom demo environment on you know Google Kubernetes engine cluster in about six minutes. If I click GKE-K10, you can see all the details, how many, you know, what files included, and there is a readme. Okay, that's about it. Yeah, thank you very much for your time.